Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a drugstore try on haul. Um, I got a lot of things here <laughs> when I went to the States. I actually, yes, everything here is from the States. And as far as I know, these are things I have seen in Canada yet. Maybe one of them. But yeah, so it's a USA drugstore try on haul, I guess. I have so many videos to film. I know I haven't been like consistent at all on this channel, unfortunately, but hopefully I will get a lot of things done today. So since I have to get ready to film, I thought I would just make this a video also. So let's just get into it because it might be a long video. I'll start with the complexion products. I didn't get a primer so I'll use my uh, VDL primer that is unofficially in um, my plan to pan project which is only in my head because I haven't filmed a video about that but I am actually almost done with this so that is very exciting so I'll use that today but I did get two complexion products and mainly because I can't get these in Canada I don't need more complexion products but I was like these just look too intriguing so um, the first one is I guess whatever it doesn't matter the order this is the elf camo hydrating CC cream so this it said on the display, I got this at Ulta by the way, and it said it was Ulta exclusive. So I guess it's not sold anywhere else. And definitely this won't be coming to Canada if it's an Ulta exclusive. And especially since it has SPF 30 in it. We only just got the original camo CC cream recently in Canada and I didn't see good reviews about that so I haven't actually seen any reviews about this one but it's I like that it has the word hydrating in it because if you are new here I have dry skin so I definitely need hydrating products this says skin loving ingredients tremella mushroom and hyaluronic acid so this sounds promising I got this shade light 280n which is neutral warm undertones yeah i did find it wasn't easy to choose a shade of this i wouldn't normally pick something that said warm undertones but the one that said cool undertones looked very pink leaning and that shade looks very bad on me i have a like a neutral peach undertone i suppose so we'll see about this one um, but then I saw this, and this is from Physician's Formula. It says new on it. It's the Diamond Perfector BB Cream 10-in-1 Skin Perfector. If you guys saw, like, if you've been here since the beginning, I was panning a Physician's Formula BB Cream, the Organic Wear, and that's been discontinued. And I'm kind of wondering if this is similar. I really liked that product. Um, this might be a bit more liquidy, like just looking at it from the packaging, um, but I'm very excited about this. And it seems like Physician's Formula is going hard with the Diamond Perfector line, so I don't know if that's because it's selling very well or they just, you know, are trying something new. But I wanted to show you the packaging of this one because this looks like... And honestly, this part feels exactly like the Fenty Blurring Skin Tint. Is that what it's called? I'll get it from my drawer. This. So I wonder if they were kind of trying to dupe this a little. I don't know. Um, I do love this product. This is the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. So we'll see if I like this one as much. I, I can already see at least from the packaging, this is a lot lighter. Physicians Formula shades, I feel like, I don't know, they lean super light, but because this is a BB cream, 
and it looks like it's supposed to be quite sheer. This is actually the shade light to medium, if you can believe that. Like, <laughs> I'm not a medium skin tone. But I'm hoping because it's like a sheer formula that it'll blend, you know, it'll blend out. So, I don't know, which one should I choose? Does this have SPF? 10 in 1, what is the 10 things? Moisturizer, primer, concealer, foundation, brightener, aluminizer, skin treatment, line softener, even skin tone, and pore diffuser. Fragrance free, gluten free, cruelty free. Okay. So there's no SPF in this, in this one. I guess that's the main difference because well, this is a BB cream and this is a CC cream, so I don't know. BB stands for Beauty Balm and CC stands for Color Correcting, I'm pretty sure, if I remember. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll come back to this. So I also got another Physician's Formula, like, Diamond Line product. This looked very fun. This is called the Mineral Wear Diamond Filler Cheek and Lip Color for extra sensitive and breakout prone skin. Okay. This is actually a blush and a um, lip product. So the packaging is very interesting. I got the shade Brilliant Peach. I've said before in videos, I'm trying not to buy any more peach blushes because they just blend into my skin. But this looks like a like pretty deep for a peach shade to me. And yeah, I'll show you. Because when I first saw this, I was like, how could that be a lip product? Because I thought it was going to be the same like packaging as this, where it's like a squeeze tube. But this one, you twist it and it actually has a doe foot applicator like one of these, like the Say or the Rare Beauty blushes do. So that looked fun. And yeah, I'm kind of excited about this. What does it say? It says it's a weightless serum to cream hybrid color for cheeks and lips. This multitasking, blendable, long-lasting formula is infused with precious diamonds and our exclusive plumping complex that smooths and enhances cheeks and lips for an outrageously effortless monochromatic look. Okay. It's a, okay, there's actual diamond dust in this. That is super weird. <laughs> I don't know what that does and I hope it's like sustainable. Um, because it says there's lustrous diamond dust, 100% certified authentic diamonds. Okay. Using doe foot applicator, place one or two dots on cheeks and lips and gently pat into skin for a seamless natural looking finish. So I think I'm definitely going to be using this today because I didn't get any other blushes from the drugstore. Unless you count ColourPop. <laughs> I have two ColourPop orders. I, if you can see this pile of things here, I got the Beauty and the Beast collection and the Pokemon collection. I don't know if I'm going to film with those. I don't know. What, if you're watching, please let me know. Do you want to see either the Beauty and the Beast or the Pokemon collection or both? Just let me know and I will do it. I usually always film with the ColourPop collections, but I feel like I'm too delayed now with my filming and by the time I get to it, I feel like it's old news and probably some other collection will have released. So anyway, let me know because I still want to try them, obviously, but I just don't know if I need to film a video on it. Um, yeah, then I got um, this NYX Butter Melt Bronzer. So this seems to be like viral, I don't know. I feel like it's the packaging that's getting everyone. It's very like fun to hold and to touch. It's that like soft matte, but plastic, not rubbery, so it doesn't get all yucky. Um, I got this in the shade All Butted Up. And this is light, medium, warm. And 
I think this was the second darkest or the second second to light shade and it looks like this I love the the pan oh it's very soft and it is not it's not matte I don't think it said either way but I do see shimmer and that's the shade okay yeah I'm very glad I got this and not the light one the light oh smells good the light one was extremely light like if you're very fair and bronzers usually look way too much on your skin you might like that shade but for me i feel like it's not going to do anything so i got this one that is reminding me of the physician's formula butter butter <laughs> that one is called butter bronzer um it smells like that vacation-y smell and that like soft kind of feeling. Okay, we'll see about that. What I really wanted was the buttermilk blushes, but I couldn't find them anywhere. And I saw on YouTube people had them and were reviewing them and saying they were released. So I don't know, they were not in any store. They were not in Walmart or Ulta, any store that I went to that for makeup, they did not have those. So maybe it only came out on the website. I'm not sure. Um, oh, going back to the physician's formula quickly, I had to get this. This is from the butter line. So, um, you know, not the diamond line. <laughs> this one is the tinted lip conditioner. And I just, Again, the packaging of this was very intriguing. It looks like a little squeeze tube, but it's actually acrylic and it's just like designed that way. And I liked how the color looked in here. This is the shade Pink Paradise. It's the Muru Muru <laughs> Butter Tinted Lip Conditioner. So it's a doe foot, like a flat foot applicator my camera doesn't focus anymore for some reason uh, it smells really good so yeah this just looked nice plus it's called lip conditioner so I'm hoping it's like basically like a tinted lip balm but in a lip gloss kind of form and then at Ulta I got this LA girl desert desert glow envy eyeshadow palette and normally I wouldn't get I don't know if I'd get an eyeshadow palette from LA Girl but the last palette I got from them which also I got at Ulta I think last no last year or two years ago the neutral one was actually really nice so I'm hoping that I will like this a lot it looks very promising just from the way the textures of the shadows look in the pen I will be using this today because I didn't get any other eyeshadow palettes so we'll see it up close once I open it but it looks very nice from the outside the shades look very fun and it looks like it has some really nice metallic shadows so we'll try that and the last thing I got was this Maybelline Build a Brow. <clears throat> I don't think this is new, but I I don't know if I've seen this in Canada or if I just haven't been paying attention. But this looked very fun because it's a two-in-one brow pen and sealing gel. And when I do my eyebrows, I love things that are very, like two-in-one type of deal and these are the two products I would use for my brows so it's a brow pin like the NYX one I guess and a brow gel on the other side and I got the shade um, medium brown so I hope I will like this also it's just a very quick like product to use and I think like going into the summer I really like more simple fast type products so my battery's gonna die so i uh, will <laughs> change my battery and come back to actually put this makeup on my face okay so as i mentioned i didn't get a primer 
So I'm going to use my VDL Lumi Layer Primer Fresh. As far as I know, this is not available anymore. I used to find a link for it, um, but the past couple of videos, I haven't seen, um, I haven't seen it anywhere. They used to have it at Ulta, so I guess it's discontinued. And it's just like a nice glowy primer. It actually feels very hydrating and I like it a lot, but it's expired apparently. There's an expiry date on it and it's well surpassed that, so I'm just trying to get it out of my collection. So yeah, I just like to make sure that I blended this properly because of the shimmer that's in it. And I like to focus it more like here and my forehead because if I put it on my nose, it could look very shiny. And I'm going to have to put a headband on because it drives me crazy when my hair is in my face. I also went to wet my sponge and I chose a concealer from my Shop My Stash. It actually happens to be the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. So I think today I'm going to use the e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Camo CC Cream because these should work together, right? Since they're from the same line. I had my mirror off the, <laughs> the light off the whole time. I was like, why can't I see good? Yeah, that would explain it. Okay, so. Yes, let's do the concealer first. I don't know if this said a way how you're supposed to apply it. Apply one to two pumps to clean skin using the e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush for an airbrush finish. Hmm. I don't have that brush as far as I know. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I'll do one side with the brush and one with the sponge and see what I like better. But first we'll use this concealer. I don't love this concealer. If I remember correctly, I could be misremembering. Um, and I probably should not be using it as a spot concealer because it's extremely light. <laughs> I don't know. So, okay, we're gonna use it under the eyes. I haven't put concealer under my eyes in like a long time. Many, many months actually. <laughs> Cause I've been using just like a color corrector when I go to the office. And yeah. Sometimes I just feel like concealer makes me look worse. Okay, I still have <laughs> mascara on from last night, and I guess I did remove my makeup, but I'm using a new mascara. Well, it's not new. It was new to me because I just opened it. The Benefit Their Real Magnet. This mascara, like, doesn't come off. I will try to remove it, like, for like 10 minutes and the next day it's still coming off. So I don't know what that's about. Otherwise, I really do like that mascara. So I don't like that it doesn't come off easily. Okay, so that seemed to blend in nicely. But I think I would like to get a bit more coverage under for my under eyes. This is a very liquidy concealer. It's almost like a serum texture. I don't know, maybe I, maybe I do like this concealer. <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember at one point, it wasn't another, like a shot my stash previously or a project maybe. And I also had the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, and I remember liking that one better than this. But so far, this looks pretty good, actually. It's not like bunching up or like creasing 
um, it's not like a lot of coverage though either, so maybe that's why. But it's fine. That, that's fine. <laughs> Um, okay, so then we'll do the e.l.f. Camo Hydrating CC Cream with SPF, which is good. It is a pump. It's said to apply one to two pumps. Okay. Let's do one pump on the sponge first. That's how much came off. And we'll do this side with this sponge. Oh, okay. Actually, that might be too much. So I'm gonna just put some over here, but I'll blend that side out with a brush. This shade, <laughs> no, the shade is not um, my shade. Not my undertone. It's very warm. As I said, I did get the warm undertone, but it said neutral warm. So I was like, maybe it'll work. Oh God, I don't know. I don't know about this. Hopefully I will get some sun. <laughs> now that summer is, well, it's not officially summer yet, but the weather is summer weather, at least where I am. So maybe I'll get some sun and then this won't look <laughs> so warm on me. Okay. Maybe I should have got the lighter shade. Okay, so far it is very um, kind of like matte which I'm surprised by because it said hydrating but I feel like it is like a powdery well you can still see some glow but remember I did put a glowy primer on so I don't know where that's coming from but let's do the other side with the brush um, I'm going to use my LYS foundation brush I don't know if this is anything like the e.l.f. brush they suggested, but I like this brush, so... The thing with the sponge is it does like diffuse the color more, <laughs> so it doesn't look as much as a wrong shade for me as it does on this side. You see how it's kind of like orangey on me yeah i really don't have a warm undertone so that's the problem when things when shade ranges don't have just a neutral option and i have to pick between a warm and a cool it always looks weird on me i don't know does anybody else have that issue <laughs> Okay, so I see it like grabbing in certain spots. I don't know if I love that. It's kind of like bunching on my dry skin areas. And this is the hydrating version, so I would expect it not to do that. I don't know. It might be one that is you know, the longer I wear it, it mixes with my natural oils, what little I have. <laughs> and will end up looking better, but so far, but I'll zoom you in, maybe. I don't know, there's also a hair on my face. Can you see, like right here, how it's like, patching on my dry skin and then on my forehead. I don't know. It's not horrible, but I'm, I don't love it right now. <laughs> so let's keep moving and see. So as you saw, I just ended up doing the sponge over the, the brush side because I had to find a way to add more moisture into that. So, 
yeah even though it does say to use with a brush i don't think this is something i would use with a brush for me personally but yeah we'll have to keep testing that out the shade doesn't look so bad now that it's blended i just need to put my lip balm on because i hate having dry lips this is just a lip balm this is actually in a project it's the ink credible jelly shot it's the one with the flower inside and i was like oh this is gonna be so gimmicky this is actually a really good lip balm so in case you were wondering um okay what next let's do the blush um yeah the physician's formula diamond filler mineral wear cheek and lip color in the shade brilliant peach i just um i swiped off some of the product in the jar because i'm really not sure what will happen here Ooh, i like this shade already and i'm gonna use my elf stippling brush airbrush stipple i think this has been discontinued i love this brush for a cream blush though Ooh, i like the shade it's not um super pigmented i basically compare every cream blush in this format to the rare beauty and i'm always scared because <laughs> it always makes me think like oh what if this is just as pigmented as that one and then i'm gonna be blending this out all over my face but no this one as you saw i just added more it's very easy to blend yeah it's um not too like punchy if you just want like an everyday kind of blush this is a nice shade okay that's nice so far i'm wondering if it's one of those blushes though that is just gonna like evaporate because i'm adding more <laughs> again yeah so you can layer this up and it's not gonna be too crazy. So, so far I'm liking that. It's not as like dewy as I was expecting, but that's fine. Cause sometimes when your blush is very dewy, it's it could be sticky. So yeah, this one is nice. I'm just taking a sip of coffee. Okay, and let's do the bronzer next. The NYX Buttermelt Bronzer. Hopefully this shade will be good. Oh, it's a bit hard to open. Let's just use the same brush I've been using for other bronzers. This is the um, Royal and Lang Nickel Moda Studio. It doesn't have a name. It's from like a set from BoxyCharm. And I'm just, whoa. Okay, a lot of product just got picked up. I think because it's so like finely milled. So let's let's try and disperse that on both sides. Ooh, this does smell very vacationy, but I, I like that smell. I know some people don't want their face products to smell at all, so maybe if you're one of those people, you won't like this, but I like that smell. And so far, I'm liking this too. Yes, I do like this shade. It's, I mean, it's a bronzer shade. It's not too light. It's not like, you know, it doesn't have a gray cast or anything. Ooh, and it blends very easily okay that was that was nice that was just very easy to use there's a yeah because it picked up so much it's very soft it's a very soft formula but that's fine to me 
that was the shade again all budded up it's light medium warm so again it's warm but in a bronzer warm undertone makes sense because that's why you put bronzer on in my opinion is to warm your complexion so liking that one I think I'm just gonna leave it like that for today. I'm not gonna put any highlighter on. I didn't get any new highlighters from the drugstore and I don't wanna use one from my Shop My Stash because, I don't know, this is supposed to be <laughs> like a full face of drugstore makeup. So, um, what are we doing? Let's just move on to the eyes then. I will use my Urban Decay Primer Potion because I use that every time I do my eyeshadow. So I don't want, you know, something to be different since I'm gonna be testing out a new palette. It only makes sense to have the same base as I always do. I think this is getting old because that just did not feel as creamy as it normally does. So this Glow Envy, this seems to be like a whole um, line that LA Girl has released at Ulta anyway. There was also like those poofy kind of products. At least I think they were poofy. Like um, maybe not, but they're in the tube. Like. Um, liquid highlighter and stuff like that. I don't need any more of those. So I only got the palette. But look how pretty this looks. This looks like an indie brand color story, in my opinion. Even when I brought it to the cash, um, the somebody, that the cashier was like, wow, that is so pretty. <laughs> I'm like, I know. So, and it was, I think, $17.99, which, I mean, we've talked about this before. That is kind of up there for a drugstore brand, in my opinion. And that's $17.99 USD. So this would be like upwards of $25 Canadian. And it's LA Girl. Didn't LA Girl used to be like very affordable? Like elf, you know, level? Even elf, I don't even know what... I don't know how much that was actually. <laughs> I should have kept my receipt, but yeah, the point is the prices are going up everywhere as we all probably know. Anyway, let's just get into this one. Oh, there is, so there's a matte cream shade. So you guys might know what I like to do with those is use them as a base. Um, with this brush that I always use. I just want to test the, yeah. Okay, there seem, ooh, very, a lot of kick up again. I only mention that to um, let you know what kind of formula this is. It's not that I mind kick up. I actually think usually when a eyeshadow has kick up, it's gonna be good because it means it's gonna blend easily um but sometimes if it like for glittery or metallic shades if there's a lot of kick up that can also mean a lot of fallout so yeah just something to note so far that was that was great that actually applied color and even out so that's exactly what I would want from a shade like this. I know some people don't like using a cream shade as a base for their eyeshadow because it, it could also kind of mute the other colors you put on top of it. But I always like to do that. And then if you don't want to mix that with your other colors, this is a great shade just at the end when you're done your look. I like to put this like on my brow bone or just to like blend out any, you know, harsh lines that I might have. So love that that shade is in here. And then I'm seeing already there's some great transition shades. So these three, this one, yeah, 
these two I would probably use the most, but even this one could be a good transition shade. Um, I'm going to use the this one, which is more, I feel more cool leaning than this. Let's try that. And I'm just going in with a big fluffy brush. Because I just like to put this kind of shade all over the crease. And I don't really care, you know, where else, <laughs> wherever it goes, that's where it'll be. Because it's just like a foundation shade. This is very nice already. Yeah, so far I feel like this is the same formula as their last palette that I got at Ulta. It's very easy to blend and the colors actually show up on the eye which is what we all want from an eyeshadow, right? <laughs> okay, that is nice. Um, do I want to... Yeah, let's just deepen up the outer corner a bit with this shade, this kind of like cool tone brown. But for that, I will need a smaller brush. Ah, this one, it's like flimsy brush. I love it for doing this. Well, okay, that one had <laughs> a lot of kick up just then. So I'm gonna tap that off because this could get crazy. Yeah, the only thing, there's no mirror. So I'm gonna use my the mirror that I have in front of me and hopefully stay in frame. Yes, even this very deep shade is blending out very nicely. Okay, let's just continue with this eye so that this video isn't <laughs> choking <laughs> so that this video isn't a thousand hours long loving that so far now for the color look at these shades this oh. do I dare do a green Or should I go, should I match my, my shirt and my earrings to this purple? Okay, I might have to do that. I don't know, I like all the colors in this palette. When you really look at it, there is only like three. Like there's the green, the purple, and the blue. Like, and there's a matte and a shimmer to match. I do love that. But the rest is quite neutral. I personally really like that, so. But just to mention, it's not like super colorful. For some people, they would probably not think this was colorful at all. But for me, that's just enough. So I, I am really wanting to use this purple, but I feel like I always do. <laughs> always do this kind of shade. Should I do the green? Oh, you guys are probably like, just pick one. Okay, let's do the green. We're just gonna do it. Um, okay, what do I want to do? I feel like I want to use my finger just because I want to feel the texture of this. Okay, it's actually not as like wet feeling as I thought it would be. That is the color. Ooh, it's almost like a duochrome, dare I say. It looks a lot more yellow on my finger. Let's try it. Let's just go with it. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, that is... Okay. It's very pretty. <clears throat> But it's not, like it doesn't have as much of a base as I thought it would based on like looking at it. It has, it's almost like those shades in the Patrick Ta palettes. You know, they're more like toppers. 
that's how I feel. And this, like, it's just going everywhere now because it's, it's almost dry, but not in a bad way. So it gives more of that, like, ethereal look than, like, a full pigment. And I did get it on the bottom, but that's because I used my finger. Okay, so I think if you use a brush and dampened it, you would get more of the pigment part. Let's see if I can do that. So I have like a flat, denser brush and I'm going to pick some of that green up on the brush. Yeah, it's... I'm getting mostly the shimmer, which is fine, but that's just not what I was expecting. I don't know if I should wet it with this. This is the Complex Culture Filter Out Daily Blue Light Defense Mist, but it's in my shop my stash. Or it's in a project, I don't remember. So I just dampen that a little and let's see what that does. Yep. So immediately, that made a big difference. Okay, good to know. So, if you want the more ethereal look, just like a light shimmery look, I feel like that is what is more trending lately than just, you know, apply this shadow normally. But if you want more of the color payoff, like if you want it to look closer to the sh to this green on your lid, you would need to um, dampen a brush or I could have probably also used my NYX glitter primer, is that what it's called? But I always forget to do that. But this is very pretty. It's kind of going everywhere now, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> I did want to use the matte too though for the inner corner and see what that looks like. But that's what the shimmer shade is doing so far. I need to do another brush declutter because I feel like I'm always just trying to find the brushes, the same ones I always use within this giant cup of brushes. <laughs> this is almost like a chartreuse, possibly. Okay, it's not you know, super pigmented. It's not looking like it looks here. But I am just putting it on dry. I think it's doing what I want it to do though. Yeah, I was hoping that had bit a bit more punch, but it's fine. That one actually didn't have as much kick up. It was a lot drier feeling. So let me do the under eye. I'm just gonna go back to the same shade I used for the crease, which was this one here. Oh, there is shade names. That shade is called Romance. And a bit of the deeper brown called Smoky. That shade is very, very pigmented. So I'll have to fix that a little. See, here's where the cream shade comes in handy to clean up. Okay. So that is the eyeshadow. Well, without mascara. That's the look. I will do the same thing on the other eye and come back to finish. Okay, I'm back. I tried to replicate the same look on this eye and I went in a little heavy with the deep brown, this shade here. So I just went back and deepened that one up a bit more. But I really, I really like how this came out. I would say I was expecting maybe a little more from the the greens that I tried today. I wanted it to be more like it looked in the pan, but I also have to remember this is 
you know, an LA girl palette. This is not Odin's Eye or, you know, an indie brand. So yeah, I definitely need to try this out some more, but I will say I loved the mattes, the, like the neutral mattes that I tried. Um, this, the green matte here, it's not as bright as I would like it to be, but maybe if I had used, like, if you want this kind of shade to look like this, I think you would need like a, like a white base or something, like something sticky that would grab onto the pigment. But for my purpose today, I just wanted it to be like a little inner corner moment. So I think I really like it still. I'm just, you know, trying to nitpick it <laughs> a little to have so somewhat of a, you know, review for you guys. But if you like the colors and you don't have something like this already, I would say, yeah, it's a, it's a good option. Um, and then I started doing my eyebrows, totally forgetting that I had this. So I do have a bit of Kosas pencil but very lightly because I remember <laughs> in the middle of it so I was trying to like brush it out but yeah I really want to try this Maybelline build a brow so let's open this and I'm hoping I got a good shade okay so it's one of these pens where there's a ball so I'm assuming I should shake it first and then ooh, I like I like this. It's very small and thin, which is good. Let's test it on my hand first. Okay, that's the shade. Very nice. Um, yeah, it's not too deep, so I'm not scared <laughs> to use it. So with these like brow pens, I am very gentle. I just like do a little flick flicking motion yes this so far you know it seems to be working the same as the NYX is it called lift and snatch but that one I do have a deeper shade of brown so this one I'm more comfortable with I feel okay so there's the pen and I guess you just go right in with the gel. It doesn't say like how, if you have to wait or anything. So I'm just gonna go right in. It does say that this gel is supposedly um, seals in your brows for up to 24 hours. <laughs> I don't know why you would need your brows to last 24 hours, but anyway. And it's flake resistant and yeah, that's it. So let's try this. Oh, it's a very small brush. I like that. And it's a very like thin gel, like very liquidy. Oops. Okay, so far I really like this. I like the color, it was easy to use, it did exactly what I want. Cause when I do my brows, I just want a bit of color to fill in the sparseness and I want a gel to make them stay up because my brows are very like fine and like fluffy almost. <laughs> so they don't stay up on their own. But this is very nice, I think. So we'll see how it wears. Um, but yeah, really liking that so far. Um, the only thing I will say is it seems like there's a very small amount of product. Like that's all the gel that you get. And I'm assuming this is gonna get very like cloudy in there because you're putting it on right after the pen. But anyway, I like it. Um, okay, for lips. So technically I only have this one lip product, although I could use the blush on my lips too. But I really want to use this. <laughs> so yeah, let's do that instead. Okay, I just took that off. And 
I thought it was going to remove the name of the product and I was like, well, that's stupid, but it didn't. <laughs> okay, let's do this one. It smells really nice. I think I said that already. Yeah. Hmm. That's um a lot more pink than I thought it would be from looking at this, but the shade is called Pink Paradise. So that makes sense. I will say it's a little sticky. Um I do have a lip balm underneath, so I'm not sure if it's the mixture of the two, but it's not like sticky for me when i say lip gloss is sticky it's not necessarily a bad thing because it means like it'll actually stay on your lips and not just like evaporate um so i'm hoping that's what this will do yeah even though it's called a lip conditioner i mean it's a lip gloss but it does feel nice on the lips so, I don't know, time will tell if that actually hydrates. I do like Physicians Formula lip products from what I remember. So, yeah, I'm sure this will be good. I really like the color of that. Okay, I think that's everything. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I really like how this look came out. I feel like it's very summery. It's very what it meant to do. This was the Glow Envy palette and I feel like that's what you get with this. You get like an ethereal glow kind of look. And I think that is trending right now and especially for summer. We're not doing like full like Instagram makeup when it's like 35 degrees out. So <laughs> I do like this. And I am looking forward to using the other colors in here eventually. Who knows when that will be because I have so many other things to use. Um, the e.l.f. camo whatever, I don't love it. It looks like it did when I first applied it. Like, it's fine. I think on camera even it looks fine. But in person, when I look up close, I see it in my pores especially on my forehead and right here. So it's not my favorite. I don't hate it. I like that there's SPF in it. I was hoping it was gonna be more dewy because it's called a hydrating CC cream. And I feel like if you went to the trouble to make a hydrating version of a product you already had, it should be glowy and dewy, no? I don't know. <laughs> That's my thoughts. Um, everything else, I really like. I do like this concealer. This wasn't a new, like I didn't just purchase this. It was in my, shot my stash, the e.l.f. Hygiene Camo Concealer. Yeah, I put it as a spot concealer and under my eyes. It The coverage is not, you know, super great, but I think it still helped to even out, you know? Um, yeah, so I'll keep testing this. I don't remember why I think I didn't like it. It might be because I used too much of it under the under my eyes or something, who knows? And the blush is still on my face, so that's a good sign. I did apply quite a lot though, as you saw, like three layers, so. <laughs> and the bronzer, yeah, I mean, it's a bronzer. How much can you really say about a bronzer? As long as it's not like orange or patchy, then it's doing what it's supposed to do. So yeah, so far liking this too. And that's everything. So if you guys still want to see me try this diamond perfecter, I could probably do a full face of Physician's Formula because I have a lot of Physician's Formula products. So let me know if you want to see that and the ColourPop, the Beauty and the Beast, or the Pokemon, or both, let me know. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!